The famous Mr. Baggins has entered into a wager to steal the Bull Roarers Club right out from under the nose of its current owner, with a little help from you. So, assemble your Hobbit crew, infiltrate a party, and execute the perfect heist. Oh man, I am very excited about this adventure, but I'm also a little nervous too. Let me explain. Just about a month ago, I made a review about the One Ring starter set, and while I really liked the majority of what was in it, I felt that the adventures weren't that interesting. So I wanted to set myself the task of creating an adventure that I think would be a lot of fun to play, while still staying within the limitations set by the starter set. That being that the adventure would take place in the Shire with only Hobbit player characters. That also means that there's not going to be many high stakes events or battles taking place, which certainly creates some challenges. After all, in the books, Bilbo and Frodo have to leave the Shire to find adventure. Of course conflict does come to Hobbiton in the end, but I can't do something like that without really breaking some canon. Still, there's got to be something fun for players to do in the Shire that isn't a boring basic starter type adventure. In the starter set, there is an adventure where you find the Bull Roarers Club, and I really liked that idea, so I decided to use that as my starting point. As well, one of the most iconic Shire events from the books is Bilbo's 111th birthday party, so why not set the adventure during a big hobbit party where you have to steal the Bull Roarers Club from someone? That feels like the type of mischief a bunch of young, adventurous hobbits might get up to. One of the things I didn't like about the official starter set adventures was that there wasn't a lot of things to do in them, and what there was often didn't have much of an impact on what came after. For example, you might fail a roll and fall into a river and get a bit wet. Alright, that doesn't really matter. Writing this, I really wanted players to be able to use all their skills and get a good sense for the different systems within the One Ring. So, in the Brandy Hall heist, there are specific places where every single skill except for travel can be used. Travel is an odd skill to begin with that has very limited uses in the game in general, but if you want to have a journey phase to get to the party, you can use it there. This adventure also has options for running a simple council, riddles, some combat, maybe even a big final battle, modified rules for eye awareness, and choices that have some consequences. There's also a lot of fun little references to chapter titles from The Hobbit. Unsurprisingly, this is my longest adventure by quite a bit. I think my previous longest one had 5 written pages, this one has 11. It's worth mentioning now that you don't need the starter set to play this, although the starter set does have a lot of great information about the Shire with an absolutely incredible map. If you do have the starter set, this adventure can fit quite nicely in between the first and second ones from that set. I don't really want to give too much away in this video. You can read what happens here on screen, or why not just download the adventure from the link in the description. It's free. I am really happy with how this turned out, and I think it might be my best one yet. Though, like I said up top, I'm a little nervous since I have basically pitted myself very directly against the official content. Regardless of whether or not you feel I succeeded in my challenge, I hope you find that this adventure feels right in Tolkien's world and that it's a lot of fun to play. That's all for now. As for what is coming up next on this channel, I'm not sure what order things will come out in, but I plan to do another video like the Lord of the Rings deleted scene, a return to FL Halla adventure, maybe some alternate journey rules, and a bunch more stuff, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day.